everyone, welcome to my Scanter Spotlight. I'm Demi Cannon. I'm gonna take you with me to the studio today. Um, I'm gonna show you a new track called Wings to Freedom, which is coming later this month. Um, and I'm gonna show you what the future brings. Everyone, welcome to my studio. I, go, I got to know the studio from a friend of mine, Ilmar Subsonic, one year ago. He knew a place and yeah, this was actually the place. Uh, I've always been producing at home for, uh, for many years. When I finally got my own place, it was really cool. Uh, I must say the, the quality went up since I, I've got here. So actually when we got here, uh, there were a lot of people here. We had to get the soundproofing done. Um, but yeah, I'm a good neighbor. The first track I actually made here was uh, Wings to Freedom, which is coming up this month. Uh, but I never finished it, it's a pretty funny story. But the real finished track was The Mission. So guys, you might have been wondering what I've been doing these days. Uh, I've been working out in the gym a lot, but uh, unfortunately during COVID I can't anymore. But luckily my brother has a place that I can work out. And besides that, I'm making a lot of music for you guys. So stay tuned. So guys, Wings to Freedom, my upcoming track. Um, it took me a really long time to finish this track and was also one of the first tracks I made in the studio. So can you imagine how long it took me to finish the track? Uh, I played it for the first time at Epic and um, it always reminded me of this, uh, this gig. So like I said, the first time I played this track was at uh, Epic. It felt like everything came together. Uh, the new studio, uh, this track, and of course uh, a gig with a big audience. And I must say the reaction was, uh, was really good. So I actually found this uh, guitar sample on Splice. It inspired me a lot. It's a really basic guitar. Uh, anyway, I wrote a top melody on it and uh, I must say it turned out pretty cool. I'm just curious what you guys think. I think it's so awesome. Uh, it has the same loops as a really old school track from uh, Special D. It's not inspired from that, but it reminded me of that. From 2007, so... <laughs> but, uh, you know, uh, or I came in contact with Scantrax through Energized. We made a call up, uh, Illuminated. Uh, the first gig was the year 2015, the V stage at DEFCON 1 on the Sunday opening. But uh, it was one of my first gigs, so I never played in clubs, so my DJ skills weren't that good. <laughs> but, uh, but I got the experience through the years, of course. Um, however, one year later, I joined Scantrax. Uh, one of my first releases on solo releases on Scantrax was, uh, I think, Orbit the Sun or nothing at all. I don't even remember. I think my biggest release was back in um, in 2017, uh, Closer. You might have all know this track. It has a special feeling to it also when I, uh, it was the first moment I quit my job and actually became a full-time producer. So uh, it all came together again. For me, that's, that's one of my biggest releases. I'm still really proud of that track. My job before I actually became a full-time producer uh, was working at a steel factory. Uh, the problem was that I was working in uh, night shifts and also um, I had to work in the weekends, which was a big problem because in the weekends I had uh, gigs and I couldn't get free anytime. So that's why I decided to quit the job and go fully focus on music. And I must say it turned out pretty cool, right? But I'm still focusing on what's coming because I actually was gonna 
was gonna play at Defcon 1 on the main stage this year. That was the goal for so many years. And um, of course, during COVID, um, I couldn't play there anymore. But well, it's still my main goal. So I'm gonna work for that no matter what. So one of the good things about Scantrax is that it's, uh, it's a really close family. So you get in contact with, uh, with other artists pretty quick. Uh, so I did some collabs already, but I would really like to collab with um, with Caltech and uh, Deep Block and Estefan. Uh, so guys, if you're watching, let's get this started. So guys, last year I started the Get Closer vlog. Uh, I had really fun doing it. Um, I must say that uh, I've learned a lot from it because uh, to show myself to the world, be, uh, get a camera, in front of me and um, well the purpose was to actually film a lot during the gigs uh, bring you to my life and uh, what, what I experienced uh, gigs also in other countries um, but unfortunately during, uh, during COVID I couldn't do this anymore last year was uh, was really amazing the, the few months that I started vlogging but I took a break from it and I will definitely start it again when the gigs are happening again. So nobody knows what the future is going to bring, but all I can say is we're going to drink a lot of beer together, party hard. Uh, but until then, I'm going to make a lot of new music for you guys and video content. So I'm going to see you soon. <laughs>